Now 27 Sports with Amy Gill. For the first time since 2012, the Badgers faced Michigan State in Camp Randall, and Wisconsin did not make them feel very welcome. But that's what happens when your team boasts the number one defense in the nation. They showed why today held Michigan State the ground game to a measly 30 yards. Jack Sanborn with the tackle for loss right there. They allowed just seven Spartan first downs, kept the Badgers with the offensive possession twice as long in the game. So Jonathan Taylor is in for the score. He had two TDs in the ball game game, though he was held to 80 yards. No matter, Jack Cohn able to toss one touchdown through the air to Quintez Cephas. He was 18 to 21 for 180 yards. He is top five in the nation for completion percentage. And the defense scored its fourth touchdown of the season. Zach Bond with the pick six. They've only allowed four touchdowns over their six games to their opponents. Wisconsin now officially bowl eligible with a 38 nothing blowout. Alec Osmus has more reaction from Camp Randall. It's now six games and six wins for the number eight Wisconsin football team after a 38 to zip home win against Michigan State. In three games against three different teams from Michigan this year, the Badgers are outscoring them 134 to 14 as all things remain in cruise control right now for this Badgers team. Defensively, the Badgers posted their fourth shutout in six games, holding Michigan State to 149 yards of total offense. The Badgers have never trailed in a game this season. Honestly, all of it is just a byproduct of what we plan to do. Um, you know, that's exactly what we want. That's why I wouldn't say that any of us are ever surprised by it, because that's exactly what we want. And, you know, we practice every day with the mentality that we're not going to give up one first down. It was a good, good defensive performance. Uh, I feel like we, we were able to go out there and do what we wanted to do. Uh, there's still some things, you know, we can clean up as a defense, but, you know, coming out of that game as a defense, you know, we feel pretty good. Offensively, Wisconsin posted over 400 yards with over half of that coming on the ground. Jonathan Taylor notched 80 yards with two touchdowns in the rushing game in the big win as he continues to be the nation's leading scorer. And then, you know, the momentum kind of shifts your way. And momentum, momentum shift is real in college football. I mean, a lot can happen when the momentum is your way. So we just like to start fast and, you know, it's kind of swinging our way a bit. JT continues to eye up yet another milestone. He's now just four yards away from 5,000 rushing yards in his college career. He's expected to hit that next Saturday against Illinois. Inside Camp Randall Stadium, Alec Osmus for 27 Sports.